What's up? So in the last vlog, I briefly mentioned the fact that in the beginning of my career, I would hyper-focus on all the negative comments. On YouTube posts, you know, anytime you release a song, someone has something to say, or they want to compare you to somebody, and it got me thinking. Something that I did at the top of last year, before I released Be Happy and Headlines, I invested in this company online. It's one that I know a bunch of fellow artists have used before. It costs a lot of money and essentially what you do is you pay to have this, this company pitch your music to Spotify curators to get playlisted because you get exponentially more streams when you're posted on playlists. It kind of creates a snowball effect. So if one playlist posts your music, maybe another one might. So a lot of people will pay money to get their songs pitched through this service to different curators basically. but. The thing about a lot of these curators is that they're just random people, like you or I, just any person that has a Spotify playlist that has some followers. They are not backed by actual labels, they are not genuinely people with musical backgrounds, they're just like people that enjoy a certain type of music, so they'll post it on their playlist and that's about it. And then they can get free money from this company by reviewing and responding or posting songs that they pitch basically. So I made the mistake, it was about a $600 mistake that I made by pitching Be Happy and Headlines to this company so that they would then pitch it to different curators. I had no idea what my response was going to be. I was going fully independent. I wanted to invest money immediately and hopefully have some immediate traction. I didn't know if it was going to pick up right where I left off or if I was going to need a little bit of help, but I figured it was worth finding out. So I spent $600 to pitch Be Happy and Headlines to a bunch of Spotify curators, and I got mostly negative responses. <laughs> I got one playlist placement out of both songs. One person posted headlines for like a week or two. It resulted in no streams. It was basically just the biggest waste of $600 ever. So I thought it would be funny to go through and read some of those reviews and responses. And the, the entire point behind this is that no matter what you're doing or what you're pursuing in life, you're going to have people that want to criticize or spread negative energy. They get fulfillment out of shitting on others. And you're going to get that no matter who you are, especially the more popular you get in whatever field, people are naturally going to hate. Long story short, I just wanted to post a bunch of critical and negative energy directed towards me so that maybe when it happens to you in your own life, you realize that this is standard and it's just going to come with the territory. And as long as you have faith in what you're doing and you believe in your message or your work ethic and your craft, that's all that matters. And you should probably focus on the people that also enjoy it. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to post these on the screen as I read them off and then you'll get my thoughts in real time. So yeah, I'm going to read through those right now and you'll get my, my honest reaction because I just kind of scanned through real quick and I was like, wow, this is like a lot of shitty going on here. So these first eight critics were for Be Happy sometimes. For me, this song still needs some work. There did not seem to be a pattern to the flow or the song for me. The song just seemed to roll on and on, though after a while you realize there is a pattern to the song, but it should not be so hard to realize this. The voice was very monotone to me as well and did not sound very good. Thank you for your input. I would say that it confuses me that they found it difficult to realize the pattern. I felt like that was the very first thing that was established with this song. So I can understand the monotone criticism. There wasn't a lot of variation in my inflection or my transients. That was kind of on purpose though. I mean, especially with the song title, it's called Be Happy Sometimes. That was kind of the entire point behind it is not being completely enthusiastic. It's just blips and moments. So <laughs> that's the first critic. Let's do the second one. Catchy melody and average vocals, but the overall track was basic. The style is in the right direction, but lacked quality. Overall mediocre production. Thank you very much. That song had 41 stems. So if you thought the production was mediocre, that's about eight times as many stems as most hip hop artists, but to each their own. Production could be a bit better. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. This is not hip hop, good sound quality, is not that catchy, feels it gets monotone, maybe it needs more contrast between the elements and dynamics. So, so far it's looking like I made a really boring song about being happy that wasn't catchy. Good, good to know. Cyrus's voice is unique, the vocals sound like it should be a rock song, but it has an R&B tune, it's different, not sure what to make of it. Okay, thank you for your response. If you're not sure what to make of it, don't know why you responded. Not a fan of the voice, beat is fairly simple also. So getting quite a bit of that. Duly noted, that was the first beat I produced in 2018 before I got into production again. 
So I will say there was one sound in particular in that beat that I spent probably five or six hours on trying to replicate the lighthouse scene in Annihilation. There was this score and there was this sound in particular used during that moment. If you haven't seen that movie, I recommend it. That scene is crazy. It's one of my favorite scored scenes ever. But I tried to recreate and replicate that sound for Be Happy. You might notice it at parts. You might now that I said that out loud, but that's just how much goes into these type of things that people don't appreciate or notice if they're just scanning through and they have no actual interest. Next one, decent sound quality, nice voice, dislike the beat and lyrics. Okay, so a lot of people are not vibing with the beat. If you don't like the lyrics though, are you disliking the message behind the lyrics or just the lyrics in general? Because a song trying to spread positive energy and good vibes feels like something that the world probably needs to hear all the time. So if you don't want to hear that, maybe try being less sad. The instrumental on this song is not that exciting. The vocal performance is average. The verses are basic and generic. The hook is not catchy. Not a lot of positive there to pick apart, so I'm going to leave it as is. Thank you very much. I think you hit the nail on the head. So let's move on to headlines. So the first one is, at first I thought there was some type of audio related technical difficulty, but once the, the beat settled in with the vocal elements provided, it sounded rather pleasing. The bass like element that was prevalent from the start was a little too sharp and intense for my liking at times. I actually agree with that statement. I think the bass was a little bit overpowering, but this was like the second or third beat I had made when I got back into producing. I didn't quite get the mix how I wanted. It's something that I wish I had toned down back then, but to each their own, we live and we learn but it didn't completely overshadow the soft rhythmic vocal performance at hand. So I think that was a very fair criticism. I don't actually think that was very negative at all. Uh, let's see this one. Nice sounds, good mix. I didn't like the composition. For me, it sounded like two songs. Okay, that was the point. So the entire song is called Headlines. It's about clickbait. It's about seeing something and forming an opinion before you actually read the article or look into it. That was the entire point of headlines, to catch you off guard once you actually got involved and started listening. So, thank you, went right over your head. Next one. I can see the singer putting a lot of emotion into his singing. The beginning rhythm does not really fit in well with the rest of the beautiful singing and overall becomes boring until the chorus comes in. I disagree with this statement wholeheartedly. I think this person has a terrible opinion. Now, the only reason I proceeded with this song is because I thought Marcus's verse was so good. I thought it blew mine out of the water. I think that Marcus's first verse on a lot of my songs, he does it in fuck ups as well. I think he sets the tone flawlessly. He by far stole that performance in my opinion. I think the chorus is very cool, but that's also his vocal that I chopped up and turned into a chorus. He also in the music video completely obliterated that performance. So I completely disagree with this person. I think that's a terrible take. That is just my, my personal opinion on that. Not really feeling the vocal that much on this. Which one? There was lots going on. Thanks. This is not a hip hop song. It's like trip hop will not fit my playlist. I don't know if I would describe it as trip hop. I don't even know what qualifies as trip hop, but again, to each their own. Not a song I would add to my playlist as it is too slow for rumor likings, and I'm not a fan of the tune. Thank you very much. Didn't even need to hear that if you didn't have anything to contribute. Nice production, dislike the beat. Okay, maybe Google it. Google the word before you say something like that. These are the type of people I spent $600 to get responses from. Think about that. And the last one it looks like was, I also do think this song makes me dizzy. Also not a great fit. If you're dizzy because you're listening to a song, you should probably get that checked out. Maybe make a doctor's appointment. That is not something I did. That is something wrong with you. I think that maybe you probably have some level of extreme vertigo or a tinnitus or something that's imbalanced. There's a chemical imbalance happening inside of your noggin, your cerebral, and you should definitely look into that. You maybe have a tumor. So that was basically the entire point of the video. I just wanted to put myself on blast, I guess. I'm not looking for anyone to be like, sorry, I thought those songs were great. I'm not looking for that at all. Some of you might even agree with some of these opinions. I even agreed with a couple of the points. I basically just wanted to put this out on blast for anyone that needed to hear it, that there are always gonna be people that try and knock you down a peg or dislike or hate on what you're doing, but at the end of the day, as long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. And you probably heard some raining or thundering in the background. It is storming, 
But another reminder, Everything Sucks comes out on Friday. I actually don't think Everything Sucks is going to end up making the final cut for the album. So this is going to be another uh, Be Happy release. So it's still a really good song. I just felt like it's the song that makes the most sense right now. I just don't think it's going to make the final cut for the album. I've been creating a lot of new stuff. I've basically been trying to fine tune the last song or two. And I just think I can do something better that fits the theme of the project more so uh, hopefully uh, you still enjoy the song I definitely think you will and I have another record coming with the homie which has been a long time coming to do a song with him that's going to be dropping next week on Friday I don't want to tell you who yet I want that to kind of be a surprise and then after that you'll get Chloe Bennett and I'm excited for the release coming after Chloe Bennett as well I also think we're going to throw up a Marcus song in a week or two for release as well I know it's been a minute he had a kid he's living his life He's a dad, he's got responsibilities, so I'm glad that he's been directing his focus towards that, but I'm also happy that we're gonna start dropping some more Marcus music. So, yeah, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your week, okay? I uh, love you guys, and I think I'm gonna go with this camera setup going forward. It's more comfortable. I feel kind of awkward turning around and having this full lighting setup. I can set this up on my desk with the light. It feels more natural, so maybe get like a cool, like neon light or something in the background maybe make the the aesthetic more pleasing but i don't know i'm rambling at this point love you guys enjoy the rest of your week positive energy your way okay